Hello there. As most of you know by now, I'm not a big fan of mainstream media keeping comment sections open, particularly around things like politicians, personal attacks, misinformation, vaccines. It brings out all of the nasty crazies. It's really frustrating to sit back and watch because it's actually a pretty easy fix, but it's not something that they want to do. And the biggest argument against it is that it breaches people's freedom of speech, which is what we in technical terms call bullshit for a number of reasons, but I'm not going to go into those right now. What I'm going to do instead is play them at their own game. Here is a non-New Zealand related news story on One News about the attack on Speaker Nancy Pelosi's husband. I'm sure that as New Zealanders who are all calm and reasonable, that we've got nothing to worry about in the comments section, right? And it's absolutely fine that somebody like Zane Steele here thinks it's okay for politicians to be attacked because of karma. Or people like Michael Peter Lowe here believe that this is a false flag operation because that's always the answer. According to Cameron Barclay here, if you're involved in government at all, you fucking deserve this to happen to you. And Sandra J. Robb here is out and out calling for this to happen to our Prime Minister. This person is calling for an attack on a New Zealand politician. And there's no moderation or stopping that from being spread. So what happens when you suggest shutting down the comment section to stop the spread of this kind of hate speech? You get comments like this, you can't trust the public, you can't censor them, and I've been on social media longer than the news have, they should do what I want. Yeah, that's fucking insane. Speaking of fucking insane, you've got Brent John Allen here, who has this weird obsession about children at strip clubs. I honestly think the police should probably be looking into this because um, that's unhealthy, especially when he talks about the sexualization of things like drag queens and puberty blockers at the same time. I suspect that Brent has some serious mental health issues that really need to be taken care of. But it hasn't come from the one source of truth, so who knows how accurate my representation is of Brent. Then you get comments from people like Emily Thomas. Now, she does this on every post that goes up about shutting down the comment section on mainstream media for the reasons I've pointed out. Every single one. And I can't explain conspiracy theories to her or debunk them because you need to have brain cells to be able to understand and think critically. She doesn't. Not that she'd ever be mean or say anything horrible to anybody because she's against the bullying. Sanctimonious fuck. If you want to help with this project, best thing you can do is spread this video because nobody's going to mind because of free speech, us showcasing them calling on the murder and attacks of our politicians.